Team Nugent used to make frames only for their own team, and it wasn't until recently they started selling them to the public. This is one of their designs, it's called the Boss Medium Frame. It's also available in the Boss XL, and this is the one I've been racing, which is why the uh, antenna cover is gone and partially broken. I need to figure out some kind of better way to do this. The real ACC Axie antennas that I've been, that I tried, yeah, they didn't, they didn't work so well. And so I don't know what the problem is, but when I put this on, it sure worked a lot better. Anyway, today we're going to take a look at their 3-inch frame. I think this actually runs 3.5-inch props, but I don't have any 3.5-inch props. But this run, this is the Team Nugent Supervisor frame. And it's a little bit smaller. We're going to take a look at this. And we're also going to take a look at this HGLRC stack. This is a 20 by 20 flight board. I've mentioned 20 by 20 flight boards for a while, and, and well, mostly my recent videos. And I've been saying how I think a lot of the more of the frames are going to go to 20 by 20 only. So I thought I'd show you one of these stacks. <laughs> well, there's not much to this frame. Basically, you have two arms, a top plate and a bottom plate. And the reason these two arms are together is so that you can get away with using two screws to hold on two arms. Instead of two screws for each arm, two screws for two arms, and it makes for a very quick assembly. Here's the main plate, and you can see here it has the hole spacing for the 20 by 20 flyboard, and they're also, it looks like they're M2 size screws which is perfect because that's what the HGLRC stack uses and it looks like you could if you wanted to run your 30 by 30 flyboard on here it's just that it's going to then be integrated into the stack with the arms and the top plate as well but you still have plenty of room up in the front for your camera anyway I'll get this put together and we'll take a little closer look at it so here's the supervisor frame assembled it, it was real quick to put together basically down here on the bottom you have 16 millimeter screws that go through the bottom plate the arm and then on up into the spacer up here on the top you got four six millimeter screws that all go down to hold the top plate down so let's get some measurements off of this this main plate here comes in about two millimeters and that's pretty thick for a three inch quad but what's really thick are these four millimeter arms out here because four millimeter on a three inch is pretty much I've never seen four millimeter arms on a three inch so this is the first that I'm seeing but when I talked to the designer of this frame they said they did that on purpose to try to give it more strength and that way it wouldn't crash nearly as much and break when you have bad crashes and that will encourage you to fly faster these spacers here are 25 millimeters so there's 25 plus another four millimeters down here so you have almost 30 millimeters of space inside there and if you look close you can kind of see how the uh, arms are cut to support the 20 by 20 spacer there or 20 by 20 flight board and ESC now if you're going to use a uh, 30 by 30 you would have to use this hole here plus one back here in the back so you would have to get shorter spacers and then have a, t a four millimeter spacer down here on the bottom or maybe six plus another two over here so it just be a little bit more pain to run a 30 by 30 board a 30.5 but you could do it, it's just be a little more planning. It's better to use the 20 by 20 stack. Also included with this are the 3D printed camera mounts here, and these are designed for your Runcam Micro or any other kind of micro camera that's 19 millimeters wide, and they should fit on there just fine. This frame weighs about 43 and a half grams or so, depending on the wind conditions in which you are weighing the frame. The diagonal measurement of this is about 160 millimeters side to side is about 95 millimeters and front to back is about 129 28 ish the frame is supposed to support three and a half inch props and i found these 35 45 dys props so we'll check them out this is the three and a half inch and if i line it up over the center hole here you can see it's well there you can see it's clearing the frame just fine and also if we look at it back here on the back with a second prop in the picture, <laughs> you can see that they are going to clear each other just fine. So this should be able to run four, uh, three and a half inch props, no problem. Now could you run three inch props? Yes, but three and a half inch props would be a lot more fun with a little bit more power. This is what the supervisor frame looks like sitting next to the boss medium frame. And this one runs five inch props. So now for this HGLRC stack. The one thing that's kind of cool about this is you can spend just a little bit more money and get a camera included with it. And this one is actually designed with a 40 amp ESC, 4-in-1 ESC. So it should have plenty of power. Here, this is the camera that comes with it. And this is the same size as a micro uh, run cam. This is the HGLRC version. Then it has the stack here, the ESC, the flyboard, and the VTX is included. 
and then it also has a capacitor and if you're going to be running 5s through this um, stack which it does support you need to make sure you're using a capacitor my friend tried this without a capacitor and it has very strange flying characteristics and once the uh, uh, capacitor was in place it flew a lot better little dipole antenna which you probably don't want to use and then it has its own set of nylon spacers and these are nylon right oh no it has the spacers of nylon and the screws are metal that's good and then it has its own set of cables for it looks like connecting the camera so I want to go ahead and put this into the frame but I'm not actually going to hook it up right now because <laughs> I don't have any motors so we'll see how this goes these mounting screws here are 25 millimeters and these little spacers are five millimeters which is perfect for the arms because they're four millimeters so they hang up a millimeter over top of it now an HGLRC stack they call it a stack but really what it is it's just all the stuff you need included it's not really stacked up you got to stack it yourself but I'm gonna put this on here like this with the power plugs coming out the side that allows me to run the motor wires up to here and straight on to the connectors without having to run it up under the board or out to the side and also these front motors can come right up here into the middle and then connect right on to there too and it makes it for a clean uh, clean uh, wire layout now here on this I'm gonna solder the wires onto here bring them back and I'll zip tie them to this arm that way when you're back here tugging on the on the um, battery wire you're gonna be putting a strain on this spacer instead of on the solder pads because you don't want to rip those solder pads off but I'm gonna go ahead and stack the rest of it on here another cool thing about this particular stack is that it has these little pins here in the middle that kind of stick up you can kind of make there you go you can see them real well and the HGLRC fly board lays down on top of this and pushes right down onto those pins so that way you don't have to have any external wires going between the ESC and the fly board the stack is completely in there now and there's no special connections between the flight board and the VTX although the VTX does support smart audio but you'd have to run a cable or a little small wire down to the uh, flight board and actually the, the UART for the flight board is going to be on the bottom side so if you're looking around on the top you won't find it you need to look on the bottom of the flight, flight board just FYI also if you look closely there's about two and a half millimeters of extra space up on top of these included screws so that means that you could actually have a four millimeter main plate that you're going to mount to instead of just this two millimeter main plate now could you use this on a five inch quad the answer is yes this is a 40 amp ESC 4 and one so as long as your motors aren't drawn more than 40 amps or you're not pushing them up the 40 or beyond 40 amps then this ESC should actually be fine and that's another reason I say the 20 by 20s are coming so here's the supervisor frame with the HGLRC stack in there and the camera and the camera is using the included 3d printed uh, spacers on there the mounts to hold it into place and the nice thing about this is you have enough room where the camera is not sticking up above the top plate so that in the event it's upside down the camera shouldn't be impacted but it is sticking out a little bit to the front but that's just because of these spacers I'll probably end up designing some spacers and upload them on Thingiverse and have this camera sit back a little bit more to get a little bit more protection now it does need to be up a little bit off of the uh, arms here because you're going to be having your motor wires come back and through between the two spacers back into your uh, ESC. Now you could. Now this has plenty of room inside here where you should be able to fit a small receiver like an XSR, R XSR, the FlySky one that works with Tyrannus, and it should be able to fit in here just fine. Um, another thing you could try to do is you could get a couple more little nylon nuts here and take this top uh, uh, VTX board and move it up a little bit and squish in the receiver in between the two boards, and you should be fine as well. Just make sure you don't cause any shorts or any connections and make sure you wrap it in electrical tape or better yet shrink wrap it so that it helps avoid, avoid even more contacts. So anyway, this thing is, is incredible. It's, all, it's almost all put together and I haven't even done anything real work wise yet to uh, put this together it's it's crazy I like to stack real well anyway this like I said this 40 this is a 40 amp 4 in 1 ESC so any motors you get that are this size should be able to uh, spin on here just fine this is designed for like a 1407 and some I think 1506s are actually the same size too which is about 12 millimeters uh, hole spacing for the motors so just make sure that when you're hooking out motors that you do get the 12 millimeter size and that they're also using the M2 size screws. If you're using M3 size 
uh, screws on your motors, you're going to be drilling these out, and that kind of messes with the integrity of the frame, and I, I certainly wouldn't recommend it. Anyway, this is a supervisor frame from Team Nugent. I think this is going to be a pretty slick frame, and it's going to be pretty fun once I get it put together. I got another 3-inch frame that was a failure because the Pico flight board is trash, and I couldn't get it to work. Anyway, that's just an opinion. I don't care if you argue or if you love it. I don't like it. Anyway, Team Nugent supervisor frame with the HGLRC 40 amp 4-in-1 ESC stack with the camera. This thing is a match made in heaven. Anyway, if you have any questions about this, leave them down in the comments. I will try to help you out as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.